is Anthony. Thank you for taking the time to view this QuizCom Calendar Plus demonstration video for Microsoft SharePoint 2010. In this video, I will show you how quick and easy it is to create a color-coded company calendar. The company calendar will hold events from two separate departmental calendars and display those events in Calendar Plus web part. In addition, those events will be color-coded based on the department calendar. To begin, we start with two separate team calendars located on different subsites. One for the IT department and the other one for the sales department. When you first add the calendar web part to your page, the message please open the tool pane and then configure the calendar plus settings will be displayed above the calendar. You can open the tool pane by clicking on the link in the message or opening the web part menu and selecting Edit Web Part Settings. To begin configuring the web part, I will click the Modify Web Part Settings button. The web part settings will be displayed and I will navigate to the SharePoint Calendar List tab. The next step is deciding which calendar to add. I will now add the IT department calendar. In the website URL field, I would enter the URL path to the department calendar. I can also use tokens that enable the definition of relative rather than static URLs. After I fill out the website URL field, I will click the load button which will update the settings. The next step is select the event list from the Select a SharePoint event drop-down menu. I will select IT Department Calendar. I can set the color coding for the IT Department Calendar by selecting a background color and text color for the event items. Next, I will categorize the calendar by checking the Show in Meeting Categories checkbox and giving it a meeting category name. This will allow the calendar to be displayed in the meeting category filter. I can display the IT calendar in the legend by checking the show in legend text box and giving it a legend alias name. For the next step, I will select the field names to appear on the event items. Finally, I will add the calendar by clicking the Add button here. This will add the calendar to a list. Items in the list can be edited and updated if you want to make changes. Items can be deleted if you want to remove the calendar. I will now fast forward and add the sales department using the same steps. Now save and close the page to view the company calendar. The Calendar Plus web part now displays events from both the IT and Sales Department calendar in one consolidated view. Users are able to identify which color events are represented from the legend displayed. Users can create new events in the calendar by clicking the New menu and selecting which calendar to add events to. Filtering the events is fast and easy with the category menu. You can display events based on the category that we set up earlier for the IT and sales department. If I wanted to view events only from the IT department category, I can select IT department in the menu. If I wanted to display all categories, I can select all categories. Clicking on the category menu, I can display all events or select one or many events based on the category. This concludes the Calendar Plus demonstration. If you are in need of a color-coded calendar that has the ability to display events from multiple SharePoint calendars, Outlook Web Access calendars, Google calendars, or other type of list types, take the next step 
following the link in the description details to the Quizcom website where you can purchase Quizcom Counter Plus or download the evaluation version for 30 days.